The phasing operation might be the most used toolpath in CNC milling, creating a plan of phase and many times an important datum. In Inventor HSM, this is simple to do. Let's take a quick look. I will select the phase operation from the command manager and we are presented with the phasing properties to the left. There are five tabs, and this is a good time to point out that in Inventor HSM, these five tabs are always in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Inventor HSM. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool library. There will be another video on the tool library, but let me just give you a quick tour. At the bottom, you can create a new mill tool, new tool holder, new turning tool, and then edit and select tools when we add them here in our workspace. To the left, we have our tool libraries. And Inventor HSM already comes with many tools so you can get the job done quick. I'm going to scroll down and select the tutorial folder. And here at the top, I have a 50 millimeter face mill. I'm going to click once to highlight it. And then I can move down to the bottom and either click select if this is the cutter that I want to use, or I can click edit. This will open up all the information about the selected tool. Check out the cutter tab. Here I could, for example, change the diameter from 50 to 60 millimeter if that is the actual cutter I have in the shop. Making this kind of adjustments should be easy. Let me hit OK and then select the tool. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. You might select an edge on your model, create some inventor sketch geometry, but since this is a facing operation, I want to face off the entire top surface, so I do not need to select any geometry. This is one of the advantages of working within a solid environment. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you could change the angle and direction of your cut, how far you want the cutter to extend past the stock, step over, and much more. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in the material, such as rabbit moves and lead in and lead out. As you can see, I did not change anything since we selected our tool, because nine times out of 10, a facing operation just needs to be selected up on the command manager and then the desired tool. Let me click OK, and if I click Simulate and Play, you will see that we have completed the facing operation with just a few clicks.